Good evening, you're watching News Mongolia on B World. I'm your host, Andrew Batter. And for our top stories, Mongolia confirmed 554 new cases on Wednesday. The government is sticking to its position of not imposing a strict lockdown. The 2021 National Public Speaking Competition was held. And for the news, stay tuned. On Thursday, Mongolia reported a total of 554 new coronavirus cases in the past 24 hours. The total number of COVID-19 cases in Mongolia reaches 12,780. A total of 554 COVID-19 cases confirmed in the past 24 hours after a nationwide test taken from 11,116 people and the country's total number of cases has reached 12,780. 372 COVID-19 patients have recovered and have been discharged. In total, 8,140 people or 63.7% of COVID-19 patients have recovered. 451 cases were recorded in the capital, making the total number of cases in Ulaanbaatar 10,544. There was one important case of COVID-19 and 102 cases were confirmed in provincial areas. One patient who was in critical condition passed away. 83% of patients are showing mild symptoms of illness and currently 14 patients are in critical condition. Health experts note that majority of people confirmed with COVID-19 are people aged between 25 to 35 years old. The public is being reminded to practice frequent hand washing and social distancing in the capital city, which has become a COVID-19 hotspot. The global total of four COVID-19 cases has now reached 132 million, with around 2.8 million fatalities. The highest number of cases are found in the US with around 31 million, followed by Brazil and India, which both have around 13 million cases. The number of COVID-19 cases in Mongolia has already surpassed 12,000 and the number of domestic cases is steadily growing. The proposal on imposing a two-week strict lockdown was discussed at a recent cabinet meeting. However, the government of Mongolia opted not to make a hasty decision. On April 7, the cabinet convened for a regular meeting and decided to wait on imposing a strict lockdown starting April 10, despite the suggestion of the State Emergency Commission to impose strict lockdown measures to curb the expansion of the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, the government is discussing a number of options to reduce the spread of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health and other professional organizations have insisted that quarantine and strict lockdowns are inevitable. This week, Mongolia recorded its highest number of new COVID-19 cases with 831 infections and five people in critical condition have died. An epidemiologist at the NCCD, Timutlan, warns that if this continues at this pace, there will be no option or reality of so-called summer without COVID. We remind you that the government of Mongolia is promoting an immunization campaign under the slogan Summer Without COVID. During the cabinet meeting, Prime Minister Ayurde stated that the government does not support the proposal on imposing a lockdown and offered to discuss it again. The English-speaking Union of Mongolia organized the 2021 National Public Speaking Competition. The grand final of the competition was held online last Saturday. National Public Speaking Competition. The National Public Speaking Competition was held for its 19th year. This year's theme was the world is bigger and smaller than it's ever been. Twelve contestants made to the finals and competed with inspirational speeches touching on various themes, including women and girls' access to education, pandemics, technological innovation and youth. We are here today to celebrate the power of speech and the beauty of the English language. The annual national public speaking competition in English is the most renowned educational program of the ESU Mongolia. It's all unbelievable that we have already had this competition for 17 years since we had our first competition back in 2002. Hobby school student Hangor Cimbatirdung was the winner of the national competition, earning a cash prize and the opportunity to represent Mongolia at the English Speaking Union International Public Speaking Competition. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Oh my god, I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a long journey for me, and I think I learned a lot from the judges and from the, oh my God, 
from the from my peers and also from myself and I'm very thankful for this opportunity and I think I will use my every chance to represent my country on the international level. English School of Mongolia student Namun Batorch was first runner-up. Um, I didn't expect this at all. I think I'm blacking out right now, to be honest. Um, thank you so much to the people who organized this great event. And in the amount of a month, I learned so much from such great speakers. And I allowed myself to indulge in the art of public speaking. And it just felt amazing. It's an exhilarating experience. Thank you so much. And British School of Ulaanbaatar student Yesu Namchato was second runner-up. Just wanted to say thank you to everyone, coaches, organizers, judges, for making this competition a thing where people like me can explore themselves and learn to speak publicly because it is the skill we need in our life. They each received a cash prize from event sponsor Mantis Insurance. Thank you very much for your time. Now let's take a look at today's currency exchange rates provided by Central Bank of Mongolia. The Asia Oceania Judo Championships 2021 began on Tuesday in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. The Asia Oceania Senior Championships, organized by the International Judo Federation, will offer ranking points to qualify for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Said Molay, the only representative from Mongolia, won a bronze medal in the under 81 kilogram category. Tot. The men's 73, 81 women's 63 and 70 kilogram weight category matches were held on the second day of the Asia Oceania Judo Championships in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. On the second day of the competition, Said Molay, a Mongolian athlete and world champion gold and bronze medalist in the men's under 81 kilogram weight class, led Group A. Said Molay won a bronze medal in the Asian Games, being the only representative from Mongolia. Said Malai lost to Vladimir Zolaev representing the host nation in the semi-finals. Other athletes from Mongolian national team were unable to compete in the Asia-Pacific Championships after being tested positive for COVID-19. The organizing committee decided to rule out the Mongolian team from the competition. With three gold, four silver and three bronze medals, South Korea leads the competition in the medal standings. Now let's take a look at the weather forecast of world's major cities. Well, that's all for today and thank you for staying with us. We will see you tomorrow with more news and updates. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.